when I think about sanctification, I think a couple of things immediately pop into my head. One, one is how slow it actually is. I mean, I think everybody wants kind of the silver bullet that makes sanctification, you know, move like a super highway rather than the dirt path it is. But I think probably by and large, um, the the greatest single kind of asset in ongoing sanctification is a serious pursuit of joy in the face of Jesus Christ. And so uh, for years, you know, I, I tried to figure out, okay, how, how, what's the best way for me to flourish in my relationship with Christ? And, and, and when all said and done, I, I just learned if I'll fill my life with things that stir my affections for Jesus, and, and if I'll pay attention and I'll kind of keep away from my heart the things that rob me of my affections, even if those things are morally neutral, right? It's not, I mean, I'm a pastor. I'm probably not going to get jammed up with black tar heroin, but I can care about sports too much. And I'm not saying sports are evil. Sports are awesome. Uh, but if I care too much, then that for me, man, that, that'll that rob me of affection. It'll take affection that I have for the Lord, a zeal I have for him, and it'll 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 navigate it to a different place. And so uh, really for me, I want to be very serious about the pursuit of my own joy in Jesus Christ. And, and so I want to flood my life with things that stir my affections for him. And then I want to be very serious about cutting things out of my life that rob me of those affections. And so I, I think if you're not doing it that way, and this is pure, it is the Puritans, mortification, vivification. But if you're not doing it that way, then there's a lot of self, there's a lot of um, just discipline without delight. And, and then you get into you know, begrudging submission, and and that doesn't honor God. You don't enjoy it, and the whole thing begins to short circuit. And I think you're no longer walking in what Christ came to set you free for, which is freedom. You know, it's for freedom that Christ has set you free. So you've been set free towards something, and that towards something is freedom, the, the freedom to pursue your joy in Him.